Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the bones kit that is right now in each year of a dragonfly uh, paper sets in, in my Etsy. And I'm going to show you how to use the bones kit. Um, there are five letter writing pages and um, this envelope and a background for the envelope. Also, this can be used in many, a variety of paper crafts, just like the smaller images too. But now we're going to make this one. Um, I have already printed it printed it both sides so first I printed this and then I put it in my printer and printed the background too so now it's pretty both sides now I'm going to cut these edges so that we, we will get this envelope um, shape and you will use you will need scissors or corner punch and possibly some ink and an applicator for the ink now I'm using my cutter so that it's quicker and easier to get an exact cut but you can do this of course with scissors too there <clears throat> if you look it closer you can see that I have sewn around these edges and they will mark the places where where you can sew this. Um, I recommend using both strong glue and sewing the sides so that it will be so that it will stay closed during the mailing. Uh, I have also inked these lines, so it's very easy to just fold it according to these lines, like, like that. And then... You can round these corners, you can leave it as is, but I meant it to be rounded. Let's see now which which uh, size was it? Probably this one. Let's try it. Yes, that's good. And There's a little bit extra here. I'll cut it out or trim it. There. And now um, the glue. First Add strong glue to there's a TPA. I'm going to cut this uh, half circle off later, but it can guide you to put glue behind this side here. Uh, 
and I really recommend to also sew around these same sides to be sure that the envelope stays closed during the mailing process. Now there's the glue and then go and sew perhaps from this side so that you will get the prettiest stitches on the front sew around this okay open the flap first so that you won't sew it <laughs> accidentally together but just this side following these stitches I'll be back there now it's secured and this stitching or this sewing gives a little bit of that extra something to your envelope Not, a, not everyone has envelopes that have been sewn on onto there. Now there was some trimming. Okay, as I'm making this, my my uh, circle punch does fit in here, but. It might have been easier to punch it first, but anyways, it's so large, large an envelope that the punch goes right in here and cuts. And if let's see if it cuts well, if it doesn't, yes, sometimes, even though this is a little bit thicker paper than the normal copy paper sometimes it gets stuck like this when that happens just use a scrap paper piece of a scrap paper paper scrap <laughs> and then it will cut cut through nicely And some more corners, and I might need a piece of a paper scrap to this corner too. And trim it a little bit. Okay, my light lighting is is some it's a bit tricky today i hope you can see what i'm doing just a second i, I will try to adjust bear with me please there mm, some trimming needed here let's see It's ready. This is the original. As you can see, I have added this oval piece here for writing the address and this one was 
white on the inside and that's why I uh, decided to add this background paper. The dragonfly shows so nicely in, in from here in the in the center and also here and there's the place for the recipient's name and address and you can write your own name and address here so that was that and let me show you a little bit closer uh, these these writing letter writing pages. This kit is as a free bonus only for the first two weeks, and after that, I'm going to list it as another kit. But there are some really beautiful images and they make a really nice letter writing papers there I hope you like this bonus kit and um I'm going to show you more of this large collection very soon. See you then. Bye-bye.